in America, we allegedly have rights to be safe, to have security of our personhood, our paperwork, and our property. These are Fourth Amendment rights, not to mention these are rights that are listed quite clearly internationally by the United Nations about people and organizations, mainly countries, if you will, that are a part of that world treaty. The United States was a leading effort in developing that world treaty. So when a person is sleeping, they are allowed to be safe from someone's touch that is not a part of their intimate circle of life. A person's intimate circle of life is someone who is actually known to that person in some way as a intimate sex relation based on marriage or based on live-in status in which that person is with them quite a lot in many hours. And what we have the right to in terms of those charters, those world treaties as individual human beings who are representative of the American continent, the United States as a country, is the right to be free of tyranny, torture, and testy behavior. Testy behavior is someone who wants to constantly move somebody's property, steal somebody's property, annoy somebody with the movement of things from one pocket to the next, and openly we have black children in America who like to play a person-to-person -person game, a ping game, a follow game with their family and friends, and they are immature in their mind and their thinking because usually they are not living independently providing for themselves. Now, are there adults that live independently outside of an apartment or a home? Yes. Are they having special functioning needs problems? Not usually. Are they having difficulty living that way? How in the motherfuck would you know when you never ask them important questions? But when you are playing as if you are God in someone's life, you are saying to the Lord God above, I have a plan for your life, and you have no rights to decide your life. The liar in you is more than obvious to the people around you who are either tempting you to do that or not thinking about what they look like when they listen to your rhetoric of how you say you're doing it but they don't really believe you that you're doing it because they are fully functioning adults and they don't know how to handle your personal special needs of I'm doing this. And they think you're such a liar about what you're saying, that you're such a player in your own stupid mentality, illegal, immoral game in your mind that they don't actually believe that you're doing something. 